<laughs> Welcome back here to Up North at 4. I think Theo found his new best friend. We got <laughs> Jesse and Nina, a couple of dog sled racers. I guess that's the probably the best term, or mushers, right? Is it a musher? A uh, dog sled racer, musher. I mean, the... What you general people say musher, but okay. we always say dog sled racers. Okay, so I, I guess I got to just learn the nomenclature okay. at some point. But there is a big uh, convention going on tomorrow. Could you just tell us about what that's all about? What's going on with that? Sure. So we have the International Sled Dog Racing Association convention tomorrow. Uh, so it's basically awarding a lot of the top sprint mushers uh, in the nation here um, with some medals and stuff for competing this season. But we also have uh, speakers and workshops and stuff. And our main speaker is Jesse Holmes here, who's Ooh. a star on the Life Below Zero TV show. What's it like to be a rock star? Yeah, <laughs> uh, I don't really feel like that. You know, maybe in Alaska you kind of maybe, get recognized yeah. a lot. I mean, you're, I don't know. You're, you're I, I live out in the bush, so I don't. I don't take. You're remote. I as live can remote, be, right? so that doesn't really, you know, exist to me. Do you even have internet there? I have internet. Yeah. Okay. I mean, okay. So you're not, you're not totally. Okay. Disconnected. I have a satellite. You know, like I don't have phone service. So. Oh, see, I mean, I race I did around every year. There's a lot of paperwork. A lot of. You know things you do as a public figure. So I have so many questions. I think I I, I want to ask you, right? But I, I feel like I got to start though. So life life below zero. What's that like to just kind of have TV crews following you around for? I'd imagine a good chunk of your day. It'll be like a couple weeks at a time that we'll be filming and you know they're all friends that I've worked with for six mm -hmm. years so it's a, a job that comes to me which provides for my lifestyle mm -hmm. which is key you know so right. I can chase my dreams racing the Iditarod. I, I also need to ask though too what what kind of drew you to that right I mean I, when someone goes, yeah, I'm going to go live remote out in the Alaskan bush, and normally I'm like, Ugh. Well, ask him where he's from first. Yeah, where are, are you from? from? I'm ask. from Alabama originally. But, so not you know, <laughs> that's not unnormal up where we live, okay. you know? People like everybody, even like people that live in town like Fairbanks, it's like they have dry cabins. They don't have running water. Okay, how do you go from Alabama to remote Alaska? That, that, there's a huge gap here. What, what drew you to that? The Rocky Mountains followed them all the way up. Really? Yeah. Is that really what it yeah, was? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I just loved living out in the wilderness and... Uh, I love dogs and working with dogs, mm -hmm. and so it kind of just fell into a lifestyle. Oh, that, is, that sounds so incredible. I'm one of those blessed people that found where they're supposed to be. Right. It's just like the calling, and it just brought you to it. And yeah. You Nina, know, was that kind of the same for you, though, with like dog sled racing, though? Like, was there just a thing where you're like, I want to try that. I got to do it. Well, I've been doing it since I was six years old, so I don't know if you I had a choice. You just kind of grew up, no. right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, but no, I loved it. It's mm -hmm. something just peaceful about being out there with the dogs, I and it's that. just very calming. Everything else just disappears when you're out there with them. And I spent a year in Alaska as well, and thought it was absolutely incredible up there. That is a, so much fun, and I, I mean, I know there's probably a difference between the marathon and the sprint, yes. right? Yeah, I sprint. He does distance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Yeah. Well, what we're doing, you know, you got to be not just good when you're on the trail when you're resting the dogs there's just so much dog care and attention to the dogs you know whenever we're stopping and resting we don't even sleep much I, you know I, we stop for four hours but a lot of that's you know doing dog care making the meals for mm -hmm. the dogs getting packed for the next run absolutely i'm sure there's a lot that goes into Get it. maybe 30 minutes to an hour sleep is a lot of sleep i don't think i can run on that but <laughs> I, I respect what you guys do i had so much fun talking to you guys thank you so much for joining us today but we got to travel over to Eagle River quick. I talked to a chef yesterday. He's bringing a new flavor, if you will, to the Northwoods. Check it out.